Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Berry Boot version 2.0 bootloader oblique universal operating system installer on Raspberry Pi 2. Now before we deep dive into the uh, main thing of installation of Berry Boot into Raspberry Pi, so let us first of all get ourselves aware that what is meant by Berry Boot. For people short on SD cards, Berry Boot is a simple boot selection screen for ARM computers like Raspberry Pi that allows you to put multiple Linux distributions on a single SD card. It, in addition, it allows you to put the operating system files on external USB hard drive instead of a SD card itself. So in order to install and download Berry Boot, there are two links which has been given that is first of all original Raspberry Pi and Pi 0 for that you have to download this but we are having Pi 2 as well as Pi 3 for that we just need to install this zip file so when you install the zip file you can find that this is the zip file which we have downloaded so if I click on properties it is about 33 MB of download and when you double click over here what you have to do in order to install just extract these all files to a specified folder as I have clicked on this text drop so what in order to install the SD card we have to do is to insert our SD card as you see that we have inserted our SD card and it is blank so what we do is that first of all we have to do SD formatter so we just first of all click on option click on on and we click on OK and we click on format so that we should not find any problem in formatting the SD card after that what you have to do is to just double click this folder Control A, select all the files, Control C, and what you have to do is to double click the SD card on the Windows Explorer and paste all the contents over here so it will not take much time in pasting the contents as you can see and after pasting the contents you don't have to do anything it will be done inside the Raspberry Pi so this is all what you have to do in the part A of this video in which I have told you how to put the files of Berry Boot on the SD card and now we just move to Raspberry Pi 2 in which I will be inserting the SD card and then I will be telling you with the first boot of Berry Boot so let's go with the Raspberry Pi so let's start with the part 2 of the video of Berry Boot. Now you can see that I am having the Raspberry Pi in my hands and here I have connected the power cable, here I have connected the HDMI and here I have connected my keyboard. So even I can connect my mouse with this small dongle which you can see over here and I just place the dongle over here. Okay, so now you can see that the mouse is being connected and now what I have done, I have placed the SD card over here. So what I do, I just insert the SD card like this and what I have to do is to just power on my Raspberry Pi to boot the first boot of Berry Boot over my HDMI monitor. So let's power on the Raspberry Pi. So now I have powered on the Raspberry Pi, you can see and now I have got a very beautiful screen like we have seen in Raspi and Jesse. So let's start the boot and we can see the beautiful logos and here we can see that it is saying that is somewhat of welcome that is welcome to Berry Boot installation. So I just what I have to do is to just uh, change the time zone that is from Africa to Asia. You can see over here. So I just select Asia so here we have that is Kolkata and now what we have to do is to just press OK so we have the Wi-Fi so we can just click over here and now what we have to do is to click on OK so you can see that it is loading the drivers and starting up the WPS supplement and now it is demanding me of the ATL that is what I have to do I have to just select my ATL and I click on I have to type my Wi-Fi password so let me type the Wi-Fi password and then I return that now you can see that I have typed the password so I just press OK and it is connecting to the access point and now you can see that it is destination drive which we have selected that is the SD card so I just click on format and it is now saving the files to the memory Zeroing the partition table. So it is copying and writing finishing boot files to do the disk and it is synchronizing. 
So it is partitioning the data with the ext4. So it will take some time. So now it is mounting and initializing the disk partition. Unmounting the boot partition and finishing writing to the disk which is synchronized. So now you can see that it is going to us for the installation of operating system. So whatever you need to have that is you can download and you can uh, just uh, click over there. So this uh, with this operating system that is Berry Boot, we can download any two operating systems or any three and we can save it onto our SD card and then it will become the full fledged SD card for these operating systems. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Berry Boot, how to install uh, that is the basic settings and how to download the operating systems and how to make SD card boot with more than one operating systems in this video. So I hope that you will surely enjoy this video. Surely you will make your SD card a multi boot operating system for Raspberry Pi 2, 3, 1 or even 0. So do like this video. Thank you so much for watching.